right, we're back, and whoa! Jill McBain got real high. They're coming, coming into turn one there, and that gave Maiden Grant the lead back. Whoa! And now they're approaching the lap traffic. There goes Valentina, she's going to go a lap down. Jill McBain actually lost control there for a moment when she ran up onto the back of the slap traffic because now there's a ton of cars in that lap traffic right there. Megan Grant now back up in front. Jill McBain is sliding back in a hurry. She's now back to the fourth spot. back. And now Jill was in trouble. Here comes Robert Slonaker. He's going to get by on the bottom here. He's scored fifth position. Comes Dina Katie. She's going to drive in there. She's going to take a spot. Now Jill finally fall back in line. She has dropped all the way back to the sixth position. Back up front. Already 60 laps in the books. point at this race. We're already approaching. Now Chip Leatherman starting to put the pressure on. They've got a lot of confidence here being coming into this coming into this main event race as the point leader already a guaranteed spot in the field no matter what happens to him here he will race in the main event fighting for their lives, they did not want to go lap down in this race. Take a look back through the field here. Dina Katie, Jill McBain, Josh Barnhart, Chad Grant. Brandon Reese has gotten himself back inside the top ten. Looking good so far from Jackass Toyota. He's got quite a bit of space back to Nina Williams, who is having a surprising run. Here she is running at 11, trying to make her first race of 2012. And there's Justin Bond. 12th position. 13th is Tom Browning. He actually, actually has to race his way in. And he's followed by John Rucker there. 14th spot. 
15th, Eric Vaughn. Lennox Ford. 16th is Bruder's Grace. He's still hanging in there. Have the fantastic effort. And Jeff Ward right now is the last driver right now guaranteed in the field. But Adam Shane is knocking on the door. A couple guys just outside of there. Adam Shane, there's Harmonica. Monica seems to always be around that 17th spot, just can never capitalize. Mark Navarro there, he struggled with just a little bit. He normally doesn't come on until the end of the race anyway, so I wouldn't count him out. Back up front. out is a lot of guys that are high in the points if they race their way in that'll help those guys that are lower in the points be able to get a provisional spot in the field if something would happen to them in the race. A couple of these guys are hoping that some of these guys like the 10 car and the 42 do race their way in because that gives them a better shot at getting in the race if they can't make it during the races. Still making grip, I just just about a car length basically over the 10 car. Ooh, 10 car got a little loose there and had to chase it up the hill. Oh, whoa, that was close. 96 car just about got into him there. Oh goodness, this is tight here. Got the black car sandwiched in between all these lead lap cars here. Oh, now the 50 goes up the hill. That's going to allow Robert to get the 15 car in there. These guys running side by side. That's allowing the 89 to get away and allowing the other cars to catch them. Josh Barnhart reeling them back in. See how quickly when these guys got side by side. How quickly! Oh, oh, contact! Oh, we got a crash! Got a crash! Oh! 15 car, 10 car, 66 gets a piece of it. Oh my, huge crash. First caution of the day, it happens at lap 85. Big crash. Big crash. Here come some of the try to get everything settled up, settled up around here. We'll get this all straightened out as pit stops will happen here. We'll go ahead and watch the pit stops, and then we'll take a look back. like when uh, the caution came out, it looks like that brother and sister came across the start and finish line first and second. How about that? Showing Megan Grant in first, and Chad was second.
Everybody go get some fresh tires. And it's kind of funny because we just now, just now hit the halfway point in the race. So it does make it interesting. And we made it the halfway and now pit stops. And now they can go the rest of the way from here. like they're making some adjustments on the 89. We'll pause things here for a minute. We'll go back and check out that crash that just happened. Involved the point leader Chip Leatherman and a couple others. Happened over there. Looked like it was over there about turn four or so. We'll take a look back here and take a look at this crash real quick. Then we'll get the field all straightened out because a lot of stuff got jumbled up in all that mess. Take a look back here. Happened over here in turn. Yeah, over there in turn two. Hit the slow motion button here. F33 got into the quarter panel of the 15, which then got into the 10. 10 tried to save it. But to no avail. And then Justin Bond just had nowhere to go. And just, just smashed right in to the 15 car. All the cars was able to drive away. But a huge crash here early on in this one. And as you can see, Justin Bond, looks like Justin Bond has taken his number 66 to the garage, and more than likely that team will miss its first race of the season. He is way, way low in the points. I don't think he's going to be high enough to get a provisional spot. So it looks like the 66 team will be put on the trailer for the first time this season, unfortunately, due to this crash. Trying to get the field reassembled here. Now they're showing that the 47 is up in front, but that does not seem to be the case. They're actually showing, as we got the one to go here, they're showing that the 50 car is the leader, and they're showing that all these other cars are on the tail end of the lead lap. Apparently something must have... Somehow, uh, the pace car, uh, some kind of scoring error or something is going on here. This is kind of strange, but they're showing the leader about halfway back to the field. Oh, this is going to get crazy. The ball is up right now on the tail end of the lead lap. Right. Oh my goodness, pretty wide. Man, look at Chad Grant trying to This jumbled up field has really made for some interesting racing. There was a lot of guys from the lead lap here in the first muscle leg. And apparently some guys didn't get lined up right under the caution. And apparently there was some scoring here on the pace car, but here we go. Chad Grant showing the way. Second. Nina Williams in third. Ruger's 
straight was up to fourth, and Brian McFadden is, was fifth. Now it's for Potter. He jumped up to fifth. Boy, what a turn of events this has become. Megan Grant was leading this race. Now Megan is back in 23rd to fail in the lead lap. She was on pit road for quite a while. There was a couple other cars that were on pit road for quite a while. And the understanding of this is, is uh, Chad Grant actually, and Dustin Dust Slonek are actually, Getting off the pit road, apparently some confusion between them and the pace car. We have to put a couple cars on the tail end of the lead lap, including the 89 leading this race. And now she's in the clutches of going the lap down. The irony of it all. Apparently here at Bristol, you cannot stay on the pit road for too long, or else you will go a lap down. And that's a lot of new faces up near the front that we've not seen earlier. We'll go ahead and take another station right here. In a wacky race after a crash and then a mixed up order. Lap 100, your leader, Chad Gray. We'll be back. 